When did the 60s begin? That might seem obvious. But in 1964, this man, Ken Kesey, lit the fuse for the explosion of the 60s. Would you repeat that again? Uh, <laughs> we weren't old enough to be beatniks, and we were a little too old to be hippies. Everybody I knew had read On the Road. It stirred us up. So we decided to go travel across the country. Since it turned out that there were so many of us, we decided we'd buy a bus. It was like a troop of minstrels. There was this guy with no shirt on, talking a mile a minute. Cassidy is going to drive the bus. <laughs> It looked like a traveling pleasure palace. It was big and roomy and spacious, until we got all the people in it. Yes, that's it, Commander, as usual. We'd take turns riding shotgun with him. It was almost impossible for him to ever shut off. All you can do is experience this thing. Ken really believed that things could be changed. He saw himself as a kind of liberator. People didn't think we were hippies or that we were drug freaks, because it wasn't in the news yet. The public always grinned when they saw that bus. We are the Merry Band of Pranksters. I'm flying down the third street, wrapped in mother's wine and cheap ass best. Once Pandora's box is open, you can't regulate who gets to use the stuff that flies out of it. I thought this was as American as you could get because we were exploring a new territory. What it meant was that everybody had to consider a new way for things to be. 